Alright, welcome back. What's going on? Today we will be doing a very popular room on TryHackMe. The room name is Google Dorking. And actually, I'm not only going to discuss the room, I'm going also to expand on the on some of the topics very important for information gathering at a stage of penetration testing. So basically, this room is very good if you are just getting started to learn how search engines work and of course if you want to learn how to use Google for advanced searching so for me in this room I'm not concerned about how search engine work and about the robots sitemaps all of these things you can just read through the tasks and understand how it works so my only concern here or the only thing that I'm going to go over is the Google dorking so there are some stuff here laid out about how to use Google for advanced search but I'm going to expand on that definitely this is not everything about Google Dorks so basically uh, I'm gonna go over some of these but later I'm going to go over advanced stuff so let's get started so no open my notes. So basically, I have a list of notes here for Google Dorks. This this list it lays down the basics and lays down how to use how to construct your search query. Of course, you can go to um, let me remember the name. It was Google Hacking Database. You can find Google Hacking Database. Um, Google Hacking Database. You can go over here and you see hundreds hundreds of queries or specially crafted queries using Google operators to find hidden content you can go over this list but the thing is if you don't know the rules and if you don't know how it works these uh, this list will not actually work for you so first let's understand the rules how to construct what uh, to construct a query what every what does every operator do uh, that's actually what I did in this sheet. So by using this sheet and by using the op you can you can you will be able to learn how to use these operators. So you can find this sheet by the way if you are a member of the channel. All right. So let me get started now. Now open now a new tab, new incognito tab, so no one knows about what we do, and go to Google. All right. So. Normally, normally you would just type anything like pen testing and search, right? That's the uh, regular method we use to search for something on Google. But uh, there is more to that. So, for example, if I want to search only for uh, results, I want to list only results where only pen testing is mentioned. So, I can use something called exact keyword search. So, we can take the keyword penetration testing and it will show only results that contains this keyword exactly as is so if I, I have double quotes here and if I search you see it will list the results where the, where the keyword penetration testing training is exactly mentioned as is Pen testing. These are ads. Don't bother about it. Pen testing training. Pen test. Pen testing training. As you can see, all of the results contain the exact keyword I just typed, right? So Google will ignore everything you type after the double quotes. That's beneficial if you're looking for uh, something very specific. Um, this keyword or this query is not specific pen testing training, right? It's not spe it's not specific uh, This kind of search may work if you have something very very detailed and very specific like if you're looking for um, I don't know Something that is part of broad thing for example, I was looking for let's say um, web DV M login as you can see all of the results now contain the word web dvm login and i see all of the results are about login pages to the web dvm 
that's great. Some results kind of not related, some of them, but most of these results are what we're looking for. So that's the exact keyword search. Now, what about the site search? That's common. I think most of you know what is site search. So if I want to list results only about specific website, I would use the site search. So I would use the site operator. Okay. Now the site operator, everything I, it takes one, arg one argument. The argument is the URL of the website. For example, if I want to list all the search about TryHackMe, I would take the URL of TryHackMe and put it here. So I can see here all of the Google results or all of the returned results contain the URL try hack me. So everything is about try hack me here. Nothing else. See? That's beneficial if you want to do some sort of um, initial information gathering. You want to see all of the indexed links about a specific URL, you would use that. This is also beneficial for those who are working in the SEO field. They would see um, what are the indexed URLs of their website. Okay, let me see here. So, I'm gonna explain one more, uh, two more operators and then answer these questions. So the next operator is the file search. So the file search, if you're looking to find specific file type, let's say file type, okay. Here I specify the type of file that I am looking for say it is pdf okay but th that's is not enough we need to supply another argument which is the keyword say i want to look for pdf files um and i want to use the keyword say pen testing i want to list all of the results where the word pen testing is mentioned either in the content or in the title of the pdf pen testing let's see here so this is a video file. The word pen testing is mentioned as you can see in the content. Another video file where the word pen testing is also mentioned. That's kind of file search. So here we can we can we can of course this is an example and this is the rule. Um, if you're doing, let's say you want to search for, let's make this a bit related to pen testing. PHP files, okay, where I want to look for WWE config. Let's see here. Let's see if I can find this kind of search. So if I click on that, this is for example a PHP file where the word WWE config is mentioned. That doesn't necessarily return the WWE config file okay you may need to was you may need to use another operator other than that but this kind of search would return as i as i told you guys a php file where the word wb config is either is either in the content of the file or in the title it doesn't necessarily have to be the, t the file itself okay that's the role uh, that's the uh, role of file type search now uh, okay, let's take a look at now at the next operator for this room, which is in title. Now, in title is a kind of operator that uh, takes one argument. The argument is, of course, the keyword. Now, say I want to look for, um, I want to look for uh, results where the word, say, yeah, index of. But here they forgot to type. So index of is uh, a title that is uh, mentioned in websites where there is directory listing enabled. So this kind of search is not the, it is not the perfect search if you want to look for directory listing sites, but it, it is used actually. It is used to return directory listing sites. And in the in title here, I'm, I would return all of the results where the word index of is mentioned in the title right click on that you see the word index of is mentioned in the title now as you can see this kind of search as i told you is used 
commonly to return sites with directory listing enabled, which is kind, which is common security misconfiguration. Nevertheless, this is the end title. Okay. Of course, I'm not going to be able to, to, to explain everything in here. Now, an important operator here I want to explain is the... Yeah, it is a directory listing stuff. Now, let me explain this operator here. So sometimes, sometimes, I use the end title, okay? And then I use index.off to look for results where directory listing is enabled and then i mention here parent directory now every keyword i put after the argument here is used to find content within the page so this query means return me all of the results where index of is the title of the page and parent directory is mentioned anywhere in the page let's hit enter now this is exactly the kind of search you would use to return directory listing file, directory listing sites. Click on that. Uh huh. You see, uh, there are documents. I don't know if you are supposed to access these documents, but this kind of search is used to return directory listing enabled sites. And um, people underestimate the danger of leaving directory listing enabled. But anyway. Now, take a look at this. This also returns directory listing sites, but where the word, it looks for the word admin in hope to find admin pages. See, the word admin is mentioned here. So that's why we uh, were represented with, uh, presented with these results. And of course, these results contain the word admin. That's why, so as you can see, index of slash admin. And this is the page slash admin, by the way. Okay, we don't want to bother YouTube anymore, <laughs> uh, longer any longer with that. Okay, now let's take a look at other um, stuff. Let's take a look at the room now. So in the room, what would be the format to? What would be the format used to query the site bbc.co.uk about food defenses? Defenses. Now, 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 now. <laughs> Let's go back and construct a query. So first we type site. Here we look for results uh, containing the URL BBC co.uk. And then there is a query here about flood. Oh, flood. Okay, it's flood, not food. So flood deficiencies. Now let's take this. Okay, now let's go back to the try hack me here and see you the questions being asked. The first one, what would be the format used to query the site bbc.co.uk about flawed defenses? So, as you can see, I already have the question answered. Let me explain why I answered with this query here. So, site, as I told you guys, site is used to return results for the exact URL. Any keyword comes after the arguments here is used to find um, content within the page. So, what does what does the query do here? It actually returns all the results where they are re related to bbc.co.uk and the word flood defenses mentioned anywhere in the page. So, see now all of the results. We see all of the content, all of the pages about bbc.co.uk where they mention or they talked about flood defenses to prevent flooding, flood defenses. Next one. Now, I'm not saying all of these results are accurate, but they would still uh, be tailored to what we want. Next question. What term would you use to search by file type? We explained that, file type. What term can we use to look for login pages? This is interesting. Now, why answer with this? So as I mentioned earlier in the video, that when I use the entitle operator, I want to look for 
the results or look for sites where the word login is mentioned in the uh, title so this would return me all of the login pages but doesn't necessarily be a login page sometimes the word login is actually mentioned in the URL but doesn't return the login page here's the Twitter login page Wikipedia Instagram now this returns a thousand of results you wouldn't use that but you can use this operator if you want to find the login page of a specific um, site or program say for example find the login page of try hacking see now this is the login page of try hack me you can also find the login page of something else um, hack the box HTTP hack the box same here we found the login page of hack the box now let's go back to earlier query we used guys which was um, yeah it was about the file type so say I want to find uh, results where or I want to find WB config files expo the exposed WB config files what is the exact way I should use here so first I would use file type okay the file type is PHP as all of you know and then I would use in URL WB config the word or the operator in URL would return all of the results where the word or the argument you put here is mentioned in the URL. So this query here would return all the results or all PHP files where the word WB config is mentioned in the URL. So this exactly returns actually the, the WB config URL unless it was a kind of a demonstration page. Let's see. Editing WB config. So this is a Chinese page. Ah, uh -huh, this is the WordPress. Okay. Next one, a GitHub page. This is also a PHP file, but this is the sample WB config file. We don't want this. We can actually exclude the sample from here. But this is too advanced. We're not gonna go over that in this video. Maybe later. As you can see, WB config sample, WB config uploader. So you see all of the results. Our PHP files where the word wconfig is mentioned in the URL. This is interesting. Let's take a look at this. Aha. Uh -huh. Look. This is an exposed wconfig file. By the way. You see. There are here plain text credentials. Okay. That is the general rule. Now after you understand how this works. You can go over to Google Hacking Database and look over this stuff here. See for this for example. In title, index of site government.gr. Looks this looks for government websites. I don't know the country code of this, uh, where directory listing is enabled. So as I told you guys, the scenario here in Try Hack Me and this list I have here gives you the basics and the rules of how Google dorking works. Next, you can use these, uh, you can go over these uh, queries and understand how they work. So that is all I have for you today. Um, if you like the video, subscribe and see you later.